So, I'm in a great mood. A day after I uh, recorded my last video, which was a fail, I got I got a win. Um, what we have here is the makings of a portable CO2 system for uh, homemade beer, uh, homebrew in a uh, uh, a corny keg. What I've got is a 20 ounce CO2 cylinder that feeds into my universal uh, fill adapter. Coming out of that, I have a uh, eighth inch to eighth inch um, pipe thread nipple. And this part here is just so I can fill this guy with my shop air temporarily uh, to do a quick demonstration. So I'll do that right now. Always make sure your plunger is all the way out. Plug in our air. Hopefully you could hear that. Our tank is full. Plunger goes back out. Air comes off. And it can go over to the side for now. And this guy also comes off. Put some new uh, Teflon tape on that. All right, uh, some fresh tape on there. And then what I did over here, if you saw in my last video, when I took the stem off here, and, and it's actually printed on there, I didn't realize till after, it says left hand. And this is a left hand thread. Um, which means it wouldn't connect to my right hand thread pipe fitting. So what I ended up doing was I took I took and I cut it off and I am going to be reusing this for something so that's kind of important um, and I drilled and tapped the inside of there uh, to fit my eighth inch fitting uh, and then I took it over to the mill and I milled a little flat on both sides so that I can use a, the adjustable wrench to get it on but all right so I got it on well I ended up having to take this top part off thread it into here and then put the whole unit back together but this is what we end up with we got our tank we got our adapter we got our regulator we got our output you can put any uh, any uh, quarter inch hose you want on there um, I've already adjusted this so it's all the way out to negative. You can see mine's actually marked positive and negative. Hope you can see that. Um, not that this will register a whole lot, but it's actually sitting at zero right now. And of course, so is this. And I have this guy off. First thing we're going to do, thread this in to pop the, uh, why are you focusing? Okay. Threading this in to activate the tank. And there you saw, if you go back, you can you can rewind and, and just watch as that needle lifts up. Uh, it's, it, of course, it's only got 125 PSI in it, so it's not going to register the full tank you would have with a, with a 5 or 10 pound tank. And then, all you do, dial this in, there we go, let's go up to 10, there we go, sitting just below 10 psi, and 
air air so that's the whole system uh, very easy to get this thing charged to take it any to any uh, uh, paintball range uh, scuba store um, some uh, aquarium suppliers will charge these for you as well very easy to find even if you live in the sticks uh, in fact in the sticks it's sometimes easier to find fills for these and speaking of fills um, I have another plan knocking around in my head when I finally end up building it um, which shouldn't actually be too long I'll, I'll put a notification so you don't have to go hunting for it if you're watching this in the far future but uh, you should probably subscribe because then it'll be much easier to find if you're watching this in the next week or two. So, with that said, uh, if you have any questions, any comments, any suggestions, uh, if you comment that I'm going to blow myself up, I'm simply going to delete it. I just I don't do those comments anymore. Um, if you have something constructive, feel free, even if it's negative, as long as it's constructive. I don't care. Um, and uh, you guys have yourselves a good day.